really put a lot of myself into it. I think it's a real personal statement, and it's it's much more theatrical than anything I've ever done. And uh, I just, I mean, I think that it is a more, much more of a theater piece. And, and in that respect, um, I mean, I had to pay a lot more attention to detail with set and costume and lighting and stuff, and it just took a lot out of me. Madonna's show is also rife with cross-dressing and other potentially controversial elements, which she sees not as cheap sensationalism, but simply part of her overall message. I know the moral majority is up in arms against me. If you gave me half the chance, you would see my desire burning inside of me. I think that I'm offending um, certain groups, but I mean, I, I think that people who really understand what I'm doing are offended by it. Because... What? Because it's pro-life, yeah. you know. It's pro, you know, equality. It's pro-humanity. Madonna's opening show was a torrential downpour of rain, which made things tough at times for the singer and her 16-member stage troupe. There was so much rain that I, it's really hard for me to know what did and didn't work in the show because I was dealing with another element, you know what I mean? And I was just trying to get through the show and not break my leg and watch over the dancers, so... One of the highlights of the show, of course, is Madonna's latest hit, Vogue, an attempted anthem for a New York underground dance that's never quite broken through to mainstream popularity. And how come? Because they didn't have a spokesperson like me. If anyone can break voguing as a big-time fad, it's Madonna, a woman who's trailed styles and images in her wake throughout her career. What's next for this remarkable pop icon? I don't know what's after voguing, but I'll let you know when I find out.